Good evening, Southeast Texas. It was a beautiful sunny day out there. We had blue skies, near normal temperatures, and it's going to be a chilly night as we head into tomorrow. 52 degrees right now. Looking at our roofing 911 Skycam network over orange, courtesy of Horseman's Western store. No clouds out there, mostly clear skies. Humidity levels right now pretty low, 57%. We did see a little bit of rain yesterday night as that cold front swept through the area. Looks like on the seven day rainfall forecast, we're going to see about a little more rain, light rain. Euro is going with a little less than a quarter of an inch, and then um, GFS is saying a little over um, a dime, so not that much. We are below average for the rainfall around this time of year. Looking at our temperature forecast, we're going to be seeing the upper to mid 30s today, so headed into Monday and Tuesday, and looks like that carries through into Wednesday. A little bit warmer, but still below normal conditions for around this time of year. Thursday now, that's when we get that big warm up about five, seven degrees above normal for those high temperatures, 64. We're going to be at 71 on Thursday and then about 11 degrees above the normal low of 45. We're going to be at 56 and that's because another cold front is supposed to sweep through the area and that is going to cool us down. Looks like as we head into next weekend. Now on the eight to 14 day forecast, looks like a 40% chance of seeing below normal temperatures carry through um, into the next two weeks of February as we welcome in the new month tomorrow. Looking at dew points, looks like we're going to be comfy for the next several days. Then the muggies return briefly on Thursday. And then once that front sweeps through, it looks like humidity levels are going to be very low. Dew points right now, we are in the upper 30s here in the Triangle, 37 in Orange and in Port Arthur, 39 in Boma and 38 up in Jasper. Now those winds are going to be north. As they remain north, they're going to be pulling in significantly dry air for the next several days. And we do have some light breezes out there about five to 10 miles per hour as we head into tonight. And then they're going to start to pick up about 10, 15 miles per hour as we head into tomorrow. No gusty winds like as we were seeing to earlier today, but still pretty breezy conditions as we head into tomorrow. 53 degrees right now in Port Arthur and in Orange, 51 in Beaumont and up into Silsby, 50 in Woodville, 47, a bit cooler in Kirbyville already seeing 30s up towards the Panhandle, 35 in Amarillo, 39 in Lubbock, a bit warmer in South Texas, seeing 56. 63 in Laredo right now across the state. Look at this on radar, not a cloud in sight. Beautiful clear skies as high pressure is going to start building over our region. So ridge of high pressure that's going to keep us calm for the next couple of days into Wednesday. Dry weather ahead of our next storm system. So looks like on Thursday, possibly into Friday, that's when we're going to get our next round of some showers as a cold front will be pulled into our area. So we're going to go with low chances of some showers as we head off into the end of this week. Headed into tonight, clear skies going to be dropping down into the upper mid 30s across southeast Texas. So a light patchy frost is possible, definitely. And as we head into the afternoon hours, lunchtime, already seeing the 50s, no clouds in sight, beautiful sunny skies tomorrow. Later afternoon, looks like we're going to be in the upper 50s, possibly 60s, and then we drop back down in temperatures as we head into the evening hours tomorrow. Out on the Gulf of Mexico, 55 for that water temp. Choppy seas, 2 to 4 feet. North winds, 15 to 20 knots. A small craft advisory is in effect until tomorrow morning, and we will see High tides at 425 a.m. Another at 644 p.m. As we head into tonight, a bit breezy out there, but clear skies. Winds will start to pick up as we head into tomorrow. 60s, upper 50s for those high temperatures. So slightly below normal conditions as we carry through. Headed into the new work week, Groundhog Day is looking gorgeous with a few high clouds out there. So I'm guessing we might see six more weeks of winter.